Hey YouTube, just wanted to come to you today really quickly and do a product review on Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Silky Hair Moisturizer Back to Naturals. I'm going to twist it the wrong way. I stumbled across this in um, uh, a beauty supply store that I frequent often. I either go there or another place in my um, my hometown. And they have this, the shea butter, and then they have an olive oil. I wanted to try something other than the olive oil, so I got this, the lotion, the moisturizing lotion, and their leave-in conditioner. The first one I used was, was this one. I used this one first because I, I was going to a wedding and I didn't have time the night before to do what I wanted to do to my hair. So I, you know, I went and got my nails done the next day, blah, blah. And like I ran across this product because, um, what is it? Is it Cream of Nature? Is it the Cream of Nature? Cream of Nature. Um, whatever leave-in that I was using before, it'll my hair feel moisturized like while it's still wet or still damp once I put the product in and then the rest of the day is dry and brittle so like it wasn't like I don't know if my hair was absorbing it too quickly or if it just wasn't lasting long enough and I found that even with um with this product with this product the the leave-in conditioner did the same thing while it was still wet and not completely dry it will feel soft and you know manageable or whatever not dry but as soon as it dried like the rest of the day it will feel you know hard and brittle and I found that when I use this even the first the very first time I used it and went to the wedding my hair was soft like the entire day the entire night it went you know it was good and um and well I wore it in a bush so I can't really say sweat out but the product didn't sweat out or um or did anything wrong and then the next day I didn't put any more of this back in and my hair was still like super soft and moisturized and I'm like okay this is a good product um then I think the day after that I washed my hair and I started using the leave-in conditioner and the leave-in conditioner like I said it I don't I'm guessing gathering from my experiences with most of the leave-in conditioners that I tried my hair does not do well with quote unquote leave in conditioners. Like if it's if it's labeled a leave in, then my hair my hair doesn't like it. It like it just dries up super super quick. So I'm thinking with this product experience that nine out of ten I'm gonna have to stick with something closer to either a lotion or or I guess an oil if I want my hair to stay really moisturized like it needs to be. And right now what I did last night, I um I co wash my hair with Tresemme Naturals um, Nourishing Moisturizing Conditioner and I applied this right after I got out of the shower and I just did uh, quick little um, plaits or braids like I did one on each side three on the top row and then two on the bottom row on the back and I just took it out and like my hair is still soft manageable moisturized and everything and tonight when I tell us I'll just spritz it with a little bit of water and replant it again and I won't have to like I don't have to put any more product in my hair with this like I don't have to use this again for like maybe another probably day two days really because it, it just coats my hair that well and absorbs it really well and keeps it moisturized which I love so this product I give <laughs> I give two thumbs up it is an excellent product let's see if I can get it closer no, that way. Alright, there it is. Back to Naturals. And it's not expensive, which is another thing that I was looking for. I didn't want a product that was super duper expensive that I wouldn't be able to, to afford to keep, you know, replenishing because I'm growing my hair back. I'm not going to leave it short. And I know that as it gets longer, I'm going to need to use more product in my hair. So, it's not that expensive. It was maybe like five five and some change definitely no more than seven dollars i don't even think it was that much it was like five and some change but um yeah it works i love it um it's probably gonna be 
like at least for the during the summer when I wear my hair curly anyway. One of my staple products that I use. Um, yeah, I've come to learn that my hair does not like leave-in conditioners. If they work for you, that's awesome. They just don't work for me, and I'm not even gonna bother, like trying, like wasting money trying anymore when I, I see that my hair doesn't respond well to it. So um, I'll be sticking with this product for a while. Hopefully, you guys will be able to find it and try it out for yourselves. But um, yeah, I haven't really been doing much. Um, I've been doing, I guess, recently more um, like two strand bantu knot ups with my hair and not that much like the way that it's cut right now is cut into long layers it's for me awkward to try to do a lot with it because like you know all the way at the, the crown of my head is a lot shorter than where it is in the back of my hair like if I if I were to straighten my hair or actually ah, I didn't think about doing this sorry um let me see like my hair, the longest point of my hair is probably, well, I'm sitting crooked, but it's probably close to, um, close to the top of my shoulders. That's the longest part. Of course, that's, you know, towards the back of my head, so it's going to be longer. But, um, I've still been taking the biotin and it's working. Let's see. Yeah, I've still been taking the biotin and as you can see, ah, it's getting my eye. Um, yeah, it's, it's working quite well. The camera's not cooperating. But yeah, the last time I showed you guys a clip of the biotin, it was like right here, I think. Like about, you know, down to here. And now it's been four months since I cut my hair. Since I had the, um, all the color and stuff taken out. Oops. And I would say it's about to this, to this part anyway, the very top part that I use to measure. For, um, for video purposes is to the top of my lip so that's about maybe three inches um I think it might have like my body may have gotten used to it and slowed down some of the growth but it is growing a lot faster I believe is versus if I wasn't taking the biotin and I don't know if because I switched from the thousand um milligram capsules to the 5,000 milligram capsules and was only taking it once a day versus, you know, spraying it out through the day and my body, you know, kind of got used to that dosage, but I might go back to the 1,000, um, 1,000 capsules and see if it goes back to, you know, growing rapidly, but I'm, I'm happy with the results. My skin has stopped breaking out. It's gotten used to it, so it doesn't break out anymore like it did before, like even during that time in the month, it doesn't really, you know break out as much as it was when I first started using biotin but I think I'm going to keep using it for like a year <clears throat> at least until the top part of my hair gets to the point where I'll be comfortable with cutting the bottom part so that it's all even but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep growing out and see how long it can get but, um yeah that's what I wanted to share with you guys I hope all is well I pray that everyone is blessed and happy and you know living life to the fullest because this life is short and we only have one to live so you guys enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend and the rest of the summer for that matter depending on where you're at you might not have a summer sorry <laughs> but i'll talk to you guys later bye